girl, are you ready? The real Andy of Beverly Hills is here to spill all the tea. So let's talk about this mess. It's time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the beautiful people of Rose forever they did this amazing bouquet of flowers with special oils that will make the roses last up to a year this is the perfect gift for you your mom your wife your husband whatever you want to say i'm sorry i love you i miss you say it with these beautiful flowers so if you want to get your bouquet right now go to the link on the description below and use my discount code andy25 and you will get 25 dollars off your order again this is the perfect gift for anyone so whatever you want to say, say it with roses from Rose Forever. Hello, Beret Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beret Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. Girl, it is time to talk about the real housewife of New Jersey. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Do you guys remember Albi Manso, Caroline's Mines, Caroline's, Caroline's Manso's uh, son, who, by the way, he is fine. Okay, like he is uh, good. He can like do whatever he wants to do, girl. But like he is coming forward on a podcast, well, on, on an interview with All About the Truth, who has been bringing, like, the big guns when it comes to all this New Jersey tea, you know, he did a whole interview with them, and he is talking about who was behind the FBA call that sent Teresa Judice and Joe Judice to jail. I think we're getting I think I think this is going to become a thing next season guys. I think that's the direction that we're moving and we definitely uh, definitely need to talk about it. Okay. So um I mean, he talked about a bunch of shit, so of course go and watch, you know, the whole interview because it's it's very entertaining, you know, it's like an hour long, but we need to talk specifically about this part. Why is this so important? It's the premise of everything. Like the last thing on the reunion is Teresa Judice blaming Melissa and Joe Gorga of being the ones behind the call who end up sending Teresa and Joe Judice to jail. And everyone was like, what do you mean? You know, like how, how is this like so out of like nowhere, right? We, we, this has not never been mentioned before. Why is this like a thing right now? And apparently there might be some truth to this, you know? I mean, like, like Teresa said, okay, yes, it's a little bit too much. It's not like Joe and Melissa were the ones who made the call, you know? But definitely either they were present on the, or they were talking or they were friends or something happened related to the person who made the call to the FBI, okay? I don't know how these people work in New Jersey, but this is like very intense. So I'll be, that name, it's also like, I'll be, you know, it's like so cute. I'll be uh, recalls, okay? And he says that uh, he knows he knows who was the person who did the call. And the only problem is he he or no one from the Manso family is going to reveal the name of the person who did the call. OK, that is never going to happen. They have, you know, that like Italian, you know, thing going on. So they're definitely not going to be saying the name. But he says that, first of all, Caroline Manso was not the one behind the call. She had nothing to do behind the call, but that they were present the moment that the call was made. However, they said that when they were about to do that, Caroline took the kids and she was like, I'm leaving. I don't want anything to do with this. I don't want to have any part on this, which is very interesting. Why then she will accept the blame when Teresa was going after her, you know, and apparently she did take the blame to protect 
people that will be even worse if Teresa realized that they were the ones actually behind the call. I mean, the whole thing is already screaming, Gorgas, 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 you know? But like, I mean, I don't know, you know? Um, Albi says, yeah, so her mom has nothing to do with it, you know? And, she, and he even said that uh, Teresa definitely knows right now in this moment who was the person that made the call and who were right there present the moment the call was made. That's why Teresa has so much power right now, you know, over that situation because she knows everything that happened, okay? Um, Albi is very... I mean, of course, he doesn't want to say the name, but he's very cryptic, you know, and he's very... He's, he's just like Caroline, you know, like that, that way of talking of like, yeah, I mean, it's someone who, you know, um, it, it might be talk or not, you know, and it's, it's integrated on like, you know, like a bunch of like things, you know, and they ask her directly, hey, you know, they are saying that Melissa Gorga and Joe Gorga were behind this call, you know. And the, the interesting part is that he never denies it, you know, because if I don't want to say the name, but I know that the, these people are not the ones, I will be saying like, no, 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 okay, chill out. It was definitely no Joe Gorga nor Melissa Gorga, you know, they were, they were not there or they were not hanging out with these people, like, no, you know. No, he never denies it when they ask him directly he decided to take the route of like going side to side you know and try to like confuse everyone else so it's very interesting um he says that eventually like like to re i think Teresa apologized to caroline and that there is definitely um it, it is an interesting situation you know um my thought, my thing, what I'm thinking is definitely 100%. I don't think that Joe Gorga and Melissa Gorga were there the moment that the, the phone call was made, but they definitely, I think, you know, this is what I think, that they definitely maybe were talking to this person. And let's all remember, Joe Gorga hated Joe Judice, hated him, you know? And he was never coy about it. He never denied it. Uh, on the show, he said several times how he was very hurt because Nonos always preferred Joe Judas and took Joe Judas' side, you know, over him. Uh, remember the whole scandal at the christening, you know. So I could see how he might be involved somehow, you know, like, oh, maybe, you know, I have this information, you have this information, maybe I will help you. Maybe he, th I don't think that Joe Gorga knew that by doing this, he will be sending Teresa to jail, you know. I thought that maybe he thought that he was going to be sending Joe Judas to hell, to hell, to jail. <laughs> and, um, and I think that, that he never knew that Judas was manipulating Teresa and making her signing documents that she doesn't even didn't didn't even knew, you know what they were. So I think maybe that was his karma, you know, like oh you wanted to come and destroy this family, okay? Because I mean Joe Judas was committing a crime, right? So okay, we will send him to jail. But because you're opening your mouth, now your sister is also going to be going to jail. And I think that part maybe messed him up a little bit, you know. But and then he was like, well, it's just a year, like whatever, right? I don't know. I, I, look, you know me. I have I, like a sixth sense, you know. Um, if you have watched my other channel, you know that I have my, my, my things going on, right? And uh, I, it's just like a, that feeling, right? I don't feel I don't feel that Joe was there. Like, hey FBI, so my sister is doing all of these wrong things. Could you send her to jail? I don't think that was the reason, you know. Um, but I think definitely there was some kind of involvement, giving all that angriness that Gorga used to have for Joe Judas. Um, and Albi is not denying those accusations. And Albi is saying Teresa now knows who they are. Teresa has all the information. 
Teresa, whatever. Basically, he's saying whatever Teresa decided to do, or if he decided to expose them or not, or whatever she's moving, believe her because she has the information. She, this is not a supposition. This is not like, you know, she told, she told, she told her and her told him, you know, and the dog said, no, this is like information that Teresa definitely have. So we should be believing Teresa and kind of like supporting her on whatever more the move he decided to do. Okay. So I found that to be very telling and very, um, you know, I don't know, you know. So I wonder, I don't know if there is going to be any way to move move past this. Um, for a moment, you know, they were trying to say, like, maybe it was, you know, remember Rick um, Wakili or whatever, you know. Um, but they, he just was seeing with Joe Judais, their friends again. The Wakiles and the Judaises are back together, you know, and they like you, they, they're already friends. So I don't know, guys, I think I think it might be true and it will pain me because I don't think they will be able to come back from this. Well, this is the thing. If Joe Gorga comes to Teresa, right, and he tells her, hey, it's me. I'm the problem, it's me, you know, if he goes on and tells her, I wanted to send Joe Judas to jail because he was a horrible person and I didn't realize that you were being that stupid and I, it was never my intention to send you to jail. It might be sting, but it might be a possibility, but taking that accountability that Teresa will say, I forgive you let's move on maybe you know maybe but i think it will be the right thing to do but if that's not the case i think that relationship is over you know i think they they are done so <sighs> so anyways that's it what i'll be said let me know what you guys think on uh, the comments below and if you want to get all the tea related to the Real Houses of New Jersey or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. I have a new episodes of my podcast dropping every Monday. Let's talk about this mess with the real Andy of Barbary Hills on Patreon. And if you want to uh, get a personalized message from me, now you can book me through Cameo. The link to everything are on the description below. And I'll see you around. See ya. Bye time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the people of liquid iv liquid iv it's all about hydration so if you are into working out walking running jogging hiking whatever you are doing that you are losing water and electrolytes this is for you liquid iv will hydrate you twice as fast as water super convenient little packs that you can take anywhere they have all these amazing flavors green apple wild berry lemon lime uh, the list goes on and on and on so if you want to get your liquid iv make sure to go to the link on the description of this video and use my discount code shademan empire and you will get 20 percent off plus free shipping so what are you waiting for go and get your liquid iv right now it's time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the beautiful people of Jibu Beauty. They have an amazing skincare collection that will make your skin and your soul look amazing. Their personal mission in life is to make your skin glow. From the Super Duo to the Multitasking Tint Moisturizer to even their new Enchanted Bloom collection, everything that they offer is just perfection. So if you want to get your products, make sure to go to the link on the description below and do not forget to use my discount code ANDY15 and you will get between 15 and 20% off. So get your products right now. Jibu Beauty, inspired by dreams, made for reality.